Okay, this is session five, part six. Okay, just uh, clear up some uh, final aspects of the Crable Rivers paper. Uh, the key point I wanted to make is that um, uh, once we once we estimate gamma, so remember if we have gamma, and then we said that x i hat the the um, our estimate of the ideal point of the, the uh, senator, um, even though we can't see the x i, we can we can see the um, we can see the z i's. We have an estimate of gamma, and uh, that just gives us an estimate of the ideal point. And so we can do things like, for instance, here's an exercise that um, Grable and Rivers did. They calculated the the their estimate, their their median estimate of the committee, the labor committee, uh, and they get about. 3.31, and then they calculated the the um, estimated ideal point of the whole Senate, and they got about uh, 3.17. And so you'd say, well, you know, how much more liberal or uh, is the committee? Then the floor, it's a 0.14 more liberal. Well, what is the units? Well, this is actually dollars, you know, 14 cents. Actually, cents per hour is the, the units in this case. And the reason we can do that is, is all because they, they actually had the um, the bill locations. They, 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 they read the bill and the thetas are these actual values of the minimum wage. Um, related to that, um, I should say they, they get an estimate of sigma. It's, Approximately a point one, depending on the at various uh, um, uh, various versions of their model, where they include these independent variables and don't include those, and something like point oh nine to point one one, somewhere in there. Um, but the key thing is that here, once again, because they actually have the, the they know the bill locations. And since this is like the cutoff, they, they before when we had a probe it, we had the cut the the cut the cut point. Um, if the latent variable is above or below zero, we said that different more determine whether you vote yay or nay. Here we knew the cutoff was not zero. We had, but we could actually assign it some value, and it was three point zero two five or three point one zero, and we could do that because we read the bill. Um, Okay, final point uh, that I want to say is that, you know, this paper does have some substantive significance. If you're a congressional scholar, there's a few things that are, are very important uh, from this paper. Uh, one, I ask, um, I've, I, I taught, I, I, I guess taught um, as a visiting professor at Caltech for a quarter one time, and at, after giving this paper at the end, I said, you know, people make fun of you, Caltech. You know, all you do is theory, and all you know are the uh, Greek letters and the different theoretical articles. I'm going to test you on this. What was the final policy? <laughs> okay, you read the paper. What was the what was the final policy? And, and there's like silence in the room. And finally, one one of the students spoke up. Says, "Theta three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It was theta three, but what was theta three? And the answer was uh, that was three fifteen, three fifteen an hour. That was what the Senate finally passed. Okay, um, so that's one substantive uh, point I want to make. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to say is that three fifteen was the final policy. Crable and Rivers, they, they, okay, when Crable and Rivers wrote this, there was a, a bit of a controversy about. Does the median voter theorem really apply? You know, lots of us predict that, you know, that should be the policy. Whatever the median of the House or the Senate is, that should be the policy they produce. Um, but then there were some counter theories that say, well, no, what's really going on is that it's a bunch of back scratching going on. And it's just a, really Congress is just a coalition of minority interests and so there's people on the ag committee they say you know i've got my pet project you on the defense committee you've got your pet project uh, you on this other committee you've got your 
pet project. What we'll do is we'll have this grand coalition, this grand bargain. We won't go with the median wants, but we, we have, we're kind of a coalition of minority intense interests. So what we do is we let the ag people have what they want, the, 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 the defense people have what they want, and so on. And then uh, once you get those policies, the committees work to be as like a veto player to make sure you can't overturn those those uh, big omnibus uh, bills or policy prescriptions. Anyway, that was the counter theory, and it says that the counter theory says you would not get the um, median of the whole chamber as the policy. Instead, what you should expect as final policy is the median of the committee. Okay. So there was a kind of controversy, you know, uh, uh, difference in what, what, what people believe, what different scholars believe. And, and Crable and Rivers are testing this. And remember, the median of the Labor Committee was 331. The median of the floor, this is Crable and Rivers estimates, was 317. And he asked, well, what was the final policy? The answer was 315. So it was closer to the median of the floor. So this, this paper gave evidence toward the median voter theorem, and evidence against that, that latter theory that where it's just it's one big grand bargain, a coalition of minority interests. Okay. Okay, so that's the final point about the Crable Rivers paper. I'm going to do one more session. Well, I'm going to do two more. I'm going to do one session to explain uh, more generally what an ordered probit is, okay, and how Crable Rivers case, uh, paper was really kind of a special case of a ordered probit, but uh, I'll discuss that um, in the next segment. Okay, see you there.